And so at this point, Marie would tell him and Christine, Michael was possessed by a demonic force and the only thing they could do at this point would be to perform an exorcism. And so the following day, they would send out two of their best exorcists named Peter and Raymond. And so they began the ritual by praying. Michael began screaming out in tongues and he began writhing around and he fell to the ground. After eight hours of this, Michael just kind of collapsed on the ground. Peter and Raymond, they tell him, we identified 40 demons inside of you and this exorcism was able to expel 37 of them. Tomorrow, we will finish this exorcism and they head home. A few hours later and outside, walking down the street completely naked, covered in blood, was Michael Taylor and he was saying something about Satan and he was giggling like a child in the fetal position. The responding officers made their way to Michael's residence. The inside of the Taylor family home would become one of the most infamous crime scenes in English history.